Hello everyone, I'm Samad and welcome to lesson 12 of Learn Kurdish with Samad Kinani. I'm glad that I'm back with Samad and I'm here with Wani Dwanza and I'm going to learn Kurdish with Samad Kinani. In lesson 12 we'll talk about sentence structure and we'll use a couple of examples and we will talk about each part and word of, of the examples that we'll bring. لو أنا دوانزة ده بس شيء وازي دروس كرني وصاكين وأتشان المونيك يعني لو نمنانيه بس هربشة يعني هرب وشيك لو هر بشي يعني هر وشيك لو, رس لو نمنانيه أكين. Look at this example. صاكك بشيلك راودكات وبشيلكش مشكك راودكات. صاكاكا بشيلكا راو دكات و بشيلكاش مشكاكا راو دكات The dog hunts the cat and the cat hunts the mouse I know this is a bit weird example but I've used this example to, to talk about a few things that I'll mention now Look at the first word صاكاكا صاكاكا is well in Kurdish it is one word but if you translate to English, it will be the dog, which is two, which will be two words. Sagaka, pshileka, is the cat. Pshileka, the cat. Pshile, cat, ka, the. Rauda, cat. Hunts. So the first part of the sentence, sagaka, pshileka, rauda, cat, would literally be the dog, the cat. Hunts. So you see, in Kurdish, the verb um, goes to the end. And then, after the comma, uh, that's u, or if you, if you, you know, pronounce it independently, it will be wa. Pshilekesh, which means and the cat. Pshile is cat. Ka is the. Uh, it is like saying to or as well but in English for this sentence you you do not need to translate um, the sh we'll talk about it later wapshilakash mishkaka mishk mouse aka the raudakat and the cat hunts uh, the mouse but in Kurdish we say and the cat, وبشيلكش, and the cat, the mouth hunts. I hope this is clear. We will talk about it in in just a second. Here, صاغك بشيلك راو دكات وبشيلكش مشكك راو دكات. صاغ dog بشيلك cat. That is said, the sh is like two or as well. Uh, there's no place for it in the English. It is just enough for English just to say and without saying and as well the cat um hunts the mouse. Rau the cat which hunts comes from Rau uh, Kirden to hunt. There is one word Rau Kirden Mishk is mouse. So that's what would be next page. Okay, in here uh, it is the three uh, three subjects: sag, pshila, mishk. The three you know main animals or things. Uh, sag, dog. A dog, sagek. The dog, sagaka. Pshila, cat. A cat, pshilek. The cat, pshileka. And then, mouse, mishk. A mouse, mishkek. The mouse, mishkeka. The first one, sag, and the third one, mishk, are, you know, are the same uh, when you add uh, the and a. You just add ek for 
uh, um, you know, to make it like a dog, sag ik. It is the same for the mouse, mishkik. But for uh, the, say, a cat, you have to add a yek instead of ik. This is only because pshile ends in a vowel. Pshile ik. And the good thing about having a vowel in the end is that when you add the, you only add ka. But for the other two, since they end, uh, since dog and mouse uh, end in in a, in consonant in bo in Kurdish, you have to add aka. I think this is very clear. You know, just pause the video and each part in, or the page that you don't you know, don't catch up or don't understand and you don't even need the audio okay, another example Ban, Ban is a female name a Kurdish female name Ban Mezaka Amada Dekats Ban is preparing the table but look at the sentence structure in Kurdish you say Bayan, the table prepares or is preparing. So it is name, then object, and then the verb goes to the end. In this verb preparing or amadadakat is a transitive verb, as you see. The mez is a table. Aka, since it's in, it ends in consonant, you add aka as a uh, way to say the. And Amade the cat is preparing or prepares, which is kind of the same in Kurdish. And the base of the verb is Amade Kirdin to prepare. This is almost the same example. But I've used this one for one point, and we'll talk about that in one second. Look at here. Look at the beginning. Mezaka. Amada dekam. Mezaka amada dekam. I am preparing the table. You see, you start with the table. You say the table I am preparing. Mezaka the table or table the. I'm preparing. It can also you know be as I thought about it in the previous page I prepare the table or I am preparing the table is almost the same in Kurdish you can add wa as in the previous lesson we talked about wa uh, which shows um, continuous you know, a con continuous action but this can also work for continuous action anyways look at this second um, example on this page Min The only difference is that uh, we've added min in front of the same example as above. Min And the only reason this is here, the min is here, is for emphasis. You emphasize what you're saying by adding an extra pronoun. Min I am preparing the table. And the previous one is I am preparing the table. One tone. And I think this is the end of lesson twelve. Thank you for watching and you know just go through the you know the page and pause in anywhere you don't understand and ask us any question about the language in the dialect or anything related to it thank you again for watching do bara spas bo sek ditan and listening wag we get ditan and we'll see you in lesson 13 wala mani sanzata sanzada atan binino see you hafis